In this example, we use Fresh Express to issue a payment reminder. But this is tedious. We have a placeholder where we need to replace the payment deadline manually. Fresh Express can do that for you. This is the actual phrase in Fresh Express. Let's replace this placeholder with a macro function. Click on the cogwheel and select date time, formatted date time. Then choose any of the presets and you can see a preview below. Then you can shift the date by a specific number of days, work days, month or years. Let's choose work days here. By the way, you could also shift the time by hour, minutes or seconds. And the hours or minutes can be rounded by 15, 30 minutes or full hours. I click OK. And Fresh Express inserts the daytime macro. If you want to change it anytime later, just double click the daytime macro. And you get the same dialog box again. OK, let's check it out. As you can see, the date is automatically inserted. If I would execute the same phrase tomorrow, the corresponding deadline of April 1st would be output. But you can do even more in Phrase Express. Let's check it out. Instead of a static 14 days payment term, I've prepared a folder terms with the auto text abbreviation dash dash pay terms. And the folder contains just several numbers, 7, 14 or 21, which shall be the actual deadlines. Now I go back to the payment reminder phrase and I replace the 14, which is a date and time shift. The W indicates the work days and the 14, the number of the actual shift. And what I do now is I drag the payment terms folder into the position of the 14 days. And so if you insert a folder instead of a phrase, Fresh Express will show you a multiple choice option. And we need to do a little trick here because the insert macro is embedded into the daytime macro. So I add a dummy macro function, which just serves to trigger the actual multiple choice menu. Okay, let's try it out. The phrase is executed and then you're prompted which payment term you grant to the customer. And once you execute it, the actual payment term will be output. Let's try again. Let's choose 24 days and you can see that the date is properly calculated. 